Hi, I'm Daniel. And I'm Zach. And welcome back to our channel today. A hauling we will go. That was like the world's worst face. It's like it's like that surprise face that you give on Christmas. Ooh. Ooh. No, that's Ooh. better. It's like me attempting to do a magic shot. Ooh, that's true. Here, I'll put an example of this in there, right there. That is, Ma that is Mac. That is Mac trying to do a Zagic shot. Yeah. Anyway, uh, hi, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, today, we're going to just go through all of the uh, things that we got in the month of January 2020 at the Walt Disney World Resort, which means a whole bunch of stuff from the Festival of the Arts over at Epcot. So, uh, where do we want to start? Do you want to start? You actually went to Rope Drop at the Festival I of the Arts. I did go to Rope Drop at the Festival of the Arts because we learned the hard way last year that if there's a limited piece <laughs> that you want, yeah. it's not guaranteed that it's going to sell out day one, but yeah. you probably should show up on day one. Yeah. So, I took the day off work and I went to Epcot and mm -hmm. Rope Dropped at Epcot and it was fun. Excellent. So show us some of the stuff you got. Where do I start? <laughs> so because it's on my lap and I would like to get it off my lap. Ah. Uh, this is not Festival of the Arts, but it is Figment. Oh, he's asleep. It's the sleeping Figment plush that I've wanted. Shh. It's the sleeping Figment plush that I've wanted for a while but couldn't bring myself to buy until I was at the Epcot International Festival of the Arts No Crafts and was like, I'm going to spend a couple hundred bucks today anyway, so what's another 50? <laughs> they should do that. This should, should be their hashtag. Hashtag no crafts. What else did you get? I got this cute, I think, believe it's a Christmas ornament. Yes, that is a Christmas ornament. For our Christmas tree that we'll put up. This year. Next year. Well, this year. This, this year. Yes, coming year. Later this year. It's the uh, Figment Color Company Festival of the Arts 2020, and it's adorable. Yeah. It has Figment on the back. Oh, I didn't. I actually didn't look at the back. <laughs> it's Figment on the back. I just put them there. It just goes great. Yes. Okay. What else did you get? This is, just feels like this is uh, disjointed here. Yes. I got the... You'll notice a trend here with this first set of things. Another figment magic band, which no doubt does some special thing. We'll find out when we're there tomorrow. Yeah. Yes. I did not get the magic band last year, which I, I think I like more than this year's, but... Um, yeah. We, we had just started. We just started Disney, and we didn't realize that yeah, limited had, things sell out quickly. Because we had just moved to Florida in December, and then Festival of the Arts started... Ran about that time, and I don't know. We made it there to the Festival of the Arts, but Just by the not time, on opening day. yeah, by the time we, it wasn't even opening week. It was uh, by the time we were there, things were sold out, and I think that's reinforced this belief in your mind that everything is. What are you doing? <laughs> I was going to take some video of it for close up. <laughs> we're recording a video right now. We do that later. Wow. Next, cut that out. <laughs> um. So, oh. Wow, there's so much stuff. It just makes noise everywhere. It's just yes. uh, banging around. Here. So they have this cute little paint can. Yes. With the, the Figment logo on it. And it's got Figment on the, on the top there. Mm -hmm. And inside said paint can. Ooh. is the pass holder shirt Ooh, the pass for the Festival shirt. of the Arts. Cool. Which is a different design from the normal shirt of course it is because it says pass holder on it and it's just a completely different design than the other shirt nice so is that it is no that all? Oh, no there's wait, more but wait there's more but wait there's more oh artist figment plushy artist, artist figment he goes on my desk at work does he does he help with work does he no he sits he there and, and paints the air <laughs> And then you and I, I, did you get both or just one? No, I just got the pass holder. Okay. So. Uh, do, you, do you want to do those? I didn't get this one, so show that one. Okay. So. One moment, please. 
<laughs> there were two, uh, well, there were more than two, but there were two pins featuring Figment yeah. uh, for the festival this year. One was a limited release. One was a limited edition pass holder exclusive. Mm-hmm. Um, I got both. This is the regular limited release edition. You don't have to. We'll do a close-up. Yes. No, don't have to hold it up there. Okay. And then... And then... And also, then, the new, the new uh, pass holder magnet, which the they're arts. calling like Artful Mickey or something. Yeah. And then they're doing that paint by numbers thing uh, yeah, where everybody is... paints uh, four segments. And this year it's... Well, it, it switches out every time that they fill it up. So, the, Oh, does it? Yeah. So I... last year, this one was there also. And, then the oh, and they hand out... I didn't realize they switched it out. Yeah. Whatever one is there that day, that's the postcard that they'll give you that day is the one that's being Fancy. painted. See. So that's why last year we got the monorail postcard. Yes. And then this random, not figment piece of merchandise uh, that we got at... Oh, I think this was when we were at Ohana with the Leffersons. Yes, we were eating dinner at Ohana with the Leffersons. Yes. And, and Daniel got me the yes. patched featuring the various Adventureland people. <laughs> things, <laughs> things. Things. From, all right, well, good. So you got a whole bunch of stuff. Well, that was fun. Well, that uh, I got nothing, and uh, that was all there is. No, that's the end of the video. No, it's not. Uh, All right. So the things that I got. Let me just wrap up with the Festival of the Arts here. This is the uh, the Figment Pass Holder pen. I don't remember the edition size on this. Four thousand. It is le. 4,000. 4, yeah. So this is an LE 4,000 uh, Festival of the Arts pass holder pen. I think we both got one of these, right? Yes. So yeah, we both have one of those. Um, and then that was it for the Festival of the Arts for me. That's all I've... I haven't actually been to the Festival of the Arts yet. As of the recording of this video, January 30th, no, January 31st, yes. 2020, I have not yet been to the Festival of the Arts. But by the time you're watching this video, I will have been. And we'll be there when That's this right. premieres. But uh, this is the the first pin that I got this month, which is the new trading card series. So, of course, January is starting all the new pin series that are going to be the pin of the month thing. So, like, last year when I collected the vintage vinyls uh, and you collected the Medal of Honors, um, I think there's only one set that I'm really planning on collecting this year. It makes no sense because that was just one set last year that I was going to collect. So, nothing new. I'm just collecting a new one. But this is the postcard series is Stitch. And I... I think the next one is golfing and it has the Queen of Hearts on yes. it. Yes. That's the February croquet. one. A croquet. But I think it says golfing or something. On so it. I think it says croquet. Might, might say croquet. I don't know. And then I got this, uh, which is a Winnie the Pooh cereal pin. This actually isn't for me. This is for a friend uh, that I picked up, but I figured I might as well show it because I haven't given it to her yet. Um, Wait, a friend? Yes. Are I was you not told, going to name, name I her? I was told that I name drop the Leffersons too much. It upset another YouTuber. Auntie Vera Charles, who said, why are you always mentioning the Laffersons? Anyway, um, so. That is for Alyssa. It's for Alyssa. And it's got little poo-shaped candy uh, cereal inside <laughs> there. Poo-shaped candy inside a cereal box. Who knew? Uh, all right. So that was that. That was Stitch. Uh, showed you the pass holder. Um, now I'm trying to do these in order here. Um, and then the other thing that I got that day was, this is for the, the summer pen event for the August pen event, which is the 20th anniversary. Pen trading will be the theme this year. And they have these, um, I'm going to take it off because it's easier to see. But the, the concept here is that all of them make a big circle. There. So these stack and make a little circle all the way around and at the actual show there will be a center piece that like a completer that goes inside all of them but it's a a little emerald looking thing for their 20th anniversary but if you lift this up you can see that it's mickey so and it's going to be uh mickey minnie goofy pluto donald donald chipdale so uh, the the normal suspects um, and I didn't like the way it looked on the one sheet but then when I saw it in person I was that's like that's because yeah. the one sheets are flat and terrible quality yeah. so so I don't know I definitely will get the Pluto one and I'll see what the what the what the deal is with those kind of a thing I don't know but I just don't I just don't want to be that guy that collects two sets because then you're just like you're having to go over there on two separate days oh my gosh two sets two sets but then two separate days like if there were sets that came out on the same day anyway that's not important uh so then the other uh, this is actually the set that I am going to be collecting this year which is actually funnily enough called I collect and so each month it features a 
basically a pen book with different types of fake pens inside of it. So this one is for figment. I collect figment. I think the February one is for villains. Yes. And so it's got a bunch of little villain pens inside, but they're all, it's designed to look like a little uh, pen portfolio. And we both, we both got one of those. Yeah. I was just thinking this is, would be nice to make ornaments out of it, just like the, the vintage vinyl ones. So I was trying to, that's the one I was going to do. And then the other ones that I got, the other pins that I got during January, um, I was worried because everyone told me that they were gone, that they were sold out. Um, they. The Mouse Diva, Dana, told me, no, they're sold out. We went by there. We couldn't find any. They have the, they have the one, but they don't have the pass holder one. So then. To be fair. That was what the cast member told her. True. So uh, we went there, and uh, you don't even know what I'm talking about, do you? No. Well, let me show you the uh, limited edition non pastor holder one. So this one is Space Mountain's 45th anniversary pin. Uh, this is uh, for non pass holders. This is just for anyone. I believe it is already sold out um, at this point. I don't know. I can tell you if you are trying to go there, though, that it is only being sold in the gift shop at the end of Space Mountain. That is where you go and get it. It's not being carried in the Frontierland store or in the store up in the front of the park. Um, and then the one at, well, I went to buy that one, which was the only one that was available, uh, I went to go pay for it. And they're like, did you want the pass holder one? I'm like, oh. I thought that was sold out and they had like a whole bag of them there. So this is the pass holder version of that pen, which is also limited edition. Um, and uh, yes, I did buy the Disney Diva. Oh, well, she paid me back, but I, I picked her up one while she was there because she wanted it. So um, so this is the Space, again, Space Mountain 45th anniversary. I'm just, I feel like I'm just like babbling today. It's just, I'm sorry, I'm like, I'm off my game. Like maybe I have that coronavirus. Or maybe I should drink a Corona. Maybe that would, maybe this is what I should do. Uh, and then uh, the other anniversary pin that, that came out that same day was the 45th anniversary of Carousel of Progress. Um, and they always told, no, we don't have that. Like the cast members there said, no, those are, we're out of those. We don't have them anymore. And so I walked away with my head slunk low and walked over and looked at a little display. And there was like this huge basket full of Carousel of Progress pens. And the thing about these were yeah. these were very small edition size sizes yeah. comparatively. I believe they're fifteen hundred each. Yeah, which in the grand scheme of things is not a lot. Yeah. So this one is the Carousel of Progress forty fifth anniversary. It opens up to show the the dude, the dude father. What are, I don't know his dude's name. Uh, it is a limited edition of two thousand. Uh, anyway, those are the things that we picked up this month at uh, Walt Disney World. That's not everything. That's not. Oh, that's right. It is Festival of the Arts? I forgot. Yes. The, the two big things. <laughs> uh, are you going to get them? Or am I going to get them? Um, I can get them. Oh, Zach's going to get them. He's going to walk back there in our big, huge, spacious set. Look, we got a new IKEA stool here. So we've actually been working on the set off and on. You can't really tell because we have to like reset. Yeah, we it need up, to. So. Yeah, we, we, need, we need to paint this stripe. Yeah, we, and we need to film that there. So go ahead and show that. So uh, Zach picked up some artwork for the house yes. here. This is the first piece. Would not of be artwork. the festival of the arts if there was no artwork bot. It's true. So. so this is a piece by Greg McCullough. And yes. because our street address is 626 and it's the Stitch House. 626. It's Stitch. It's Stitch. It's a print yeah. of a painting made with discarded paint. Yeah, I'll show you the close up of it. it you can see where it's like uh, the, the paint that he scrapes off of like the palettes and stuff that he has left over that he kind of just arranged in kind of a way. Is that it's signed by him? Yes, right, uh, so. he was there. And if yeah, you bought so. any of his pieces, he would sign it for you. So yeah. I got it signed by him. So, so there you go. Stitch, our first official piece of stitch artwork for the house. Um, this next one was one that you showed me on Instagram. Yes. And I was at work when you showed it to me, and I might have squealed out loud like a 12-year-old schoolgirl because it was absolutely adorable. They did not have the prints of this at Art of Disney in Disney Springs, or um, they may have had the prints at the tent, but I saw the, the actual piece that we bought. And um, this was a splurge. Not as much as an actual original, but this is a limited edition of 95. 95. Yes, it's a limited edition <laughs> of 95. It's a canvas wrap. 
It's the birds. It's the tiki birds and the orange bird. And it's called Think Tiki Thoughts. And it's by Morgan Ditta. Um, This is number 16 of 95. So I don't know if you guys know anything about the orange bird, but uh, um, the orange bird actually thinks. It doesn't speak. So he has little thought bubbles above his head that have words in them like nice and sunny and stuff. Um, So in this, you can see he's got this little thought bubble there with a little music Mm -hmm. on it. So that's cool. She also has a piece. um, I may actually, when we're at Disney Springs tomorrow, pick that up as well. Um, She has a piece that is the Imagination Pavilion logo surrounded yeah, 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 yeah. by several um, I, here, I'll show it to you. Several figments. The, the Art of Disney Store at Disney Springs has the original, but it's $400. It's not the original. That's just a print of the original. It's just like the, the original oil painting is, is not I, for I sale. Are we sure it's not the original? I think it might be. No, it's not because she, uh, she had it at the festival last year. Uh, anyway, I, I, the picture I just showed you came from her Instagram account. Which regardless, I, it's $400. <laughs> so I'm hoping they have prints of it. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. That is uh, the stuff that we got from Disney's uh, Festival of the Arts and other things at Disney on uh, in January. I got to ride Rise of the Resistance uh, the day that I went over to get the uh, the Figment I Collect pen. I, actually, I have uh, not yet ridden Rise of the Resistance. Ridden, but we will be there soon uh, for... Uh, our anniversary, but we will also be there uh, staying overnight to uh, meet up with Mr. David, Mr. Ian, and so maybe we will try the the night that we stay over to ride Rise of the Resistance. We'll give you a report on that as well. I can tell you it was great. I'm not even a big Star Wars fan, and it was cool. I mean, it was it was really immersive. It's like there is so much stuff going on in that ride. You 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 cannot see it all in the first time. You're just like, oh, oh. It's so it, it bears repeating. It does. It bears repeating. <laughs> you know what else bears repeating? That if you like what we do here on this channel. I was going to say the Country Bear Jam Break. Anyway, uh, <laughs> if you like what we do here on this channel, make sure you give us a big thumbs up uh, down below. Click on the subscribe button uh, and give us a comment. If you'd like to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Also called The Socials. Links to those profiles are in the doobly-doo down below. And I am so sorry, but you uh, have already missed your opportunity to uh, join into our 500 subscriber giveaway. Uh, we uh, That is over. It's done. It's As finished. of yesterday. So uh, the next couple of videos we're sure. going to be putting out are going to be us answering the questions that were asked in the 500 uh, subscriber giveaway video. And of course, picking three, count them, three winners. Uh, and giving them their prizes. So that's what you got to look forward to coming up on here. Also, we did a pin challenge with uh, the Mouse Diva, the Mouse Diva and, and Mr. Mr. Mouse Diva. Diva. Uh, so that, we're just waiting for them to get back home and send us the, the mutual footage so that we can put those two videos out on the same day. According got, to people on the internet that we speak to, the whole world wants us to do another pin challenge with <laughs> that other Disney couple. Yeah, that we can't talk about. Uh, and then the the uh, we also have a, a, a Valentine's Day swap coming up that we did with a, a bunch of people, including Absolutely Fabulous and Josh Goes to Disney. And the uh, uh, I'm going to I'm going to miss people, so I apologize. It's a there. bunch of people. A bunch of people there that we're going to be doing. That's going to be posted on February 12th, I think. So there you go. Just a whole bunch of stuff coming up. I know we've been like. Uh, missing some uh, videos we're still fine everything's great we just have some life things getting in the way that makes it difficult in the middle of the week to record videos sometimes so eh, what you gonna do anyway i've just babbled on enough now haven't i i apologize till next time see you real soon